To write the name for Cu3PO4, we first need to realize that PO4 here, this is a polyatomic ion. It's called the phosphate ion. So we have the phosphate ion bonded to copper, three copper atoms. Copper is a transition metal. So we have a transition metal, a metal here, and a nonmetal or a group of nonmetals in the polyatomic ion. This is an ionic compound. So we're going to use these rules to write the name for Cu3PO4. We first write the name of the metal. That's the copper. Then we write the name of the polyatomic ion. That's the phosphate here, lowercase p. And so far we have copper phosphate is the name for Cu3PO4. But copper, that's a transition metal. So we need to figure out the charge. Transition metals can have different charges based on what they're bonded to. Here, these copper atoms, they're bonded to the phosphate ion. And the whole thing has an ionic charge of 3 minus. This is one you should remember. So this is 3 minus. We have to have a 1 plus for each copper. Three copper atoms, and each one is 1 plus. 3 times 1 plus, that'll give us 3 plus. So the 3 plus and 3 minus, they balance out net charge of 0. To show that each one of these copper atoms has a 1 plus ionic charge, we put the Roman numeral 1 in parentheses between copper and phosphate. And that makes the name for Cu3PO4 copper 1 phosphate. This is Dr. B with the name for Cu3PO4. Thanks for watching.